Let us go back in time, not to an age when the pyramids and sphinx were constructed at Giza, Egypt, but let us only go back to 1978. It was then that Nippon Corporation of Japan received permission from the Egyptian Antiquities Department to attempt to build a small model pyramid, a mere 60 feet or 20 meters in height. Nippon Corporation wanted to use only primitive tools to construct their pyramidal model. They went to a nearby limestone quarry to obtain their stone, one near the east bank of the Nile, just opposite Giza. They chose stone, chisels, and hammers to cut out the rock. But they were only partially successful, and so they had to resort to air jack hammers to actually remove the stone. The next task was to move the blocks across the sands and the Nile River. 100 men were employed, but in the end, Nippon Corporation mainly moved the rock by truck and by steamboat. In this rare film footage, we see the ramps that were used to haul up the two and three ton blocks. Finally, cranes and even a helicopter were used. The Great Pyramid has something between 600,000 and 2 million blocks of these sizes and about 200 steps instead of the nine steps that were accomplished here. Interesting to note that although the average block in the Great Pyramid is about two to three tons, there are stones inside that are 50 to 60 tons that are made of granite. So how did the ancients accomplish such a great feat using only primitive tools? Our research over the years in the finding of the Osiris tomb with others using ground penetrating radar and the sun measurements of various chambers inside the Great Pyramid using computerized software showing very sophisticated musical cues suggest that there was indeed a very unique group of mathematicians and engineers behind the construction of the seventh wonder of the ancient world. Earth milk, ancient energy, and the Academy for Future Science believe that there are unique energy forces that were tapped by the earlier creators of the Great Pyramid in the pyramids of the Giza Plateau, combining not only sound vibrations, chemical batteries for certain forms of electrolysis, unique water hydraulic systems, but also using certain constructs around the pyramids as natural battery units, combining energy on the surface with subsurface energy sources. The Japanese attempts to construct the exterior nature of the Great Pyramid cannot account for the precise uniqueness of the interior corridors and chambers and rooms that have unique acoustical properties, nor the interconnecting underground cavities and passageways that connect with all pyramids. So the question arises, who really built the pyramids? An earlier strata of civilization? Or perhaps a super intelligent group of artisans, mathematicians, and musicians, knowing acoustical vibration theory 